If you stumbled across this tutorial, you've probably discovered that object create doesn't work the way you expect in Google Apps Script. In this tutorial, we are going to cover some alternatives to using object create in Google Apps Script. Let's get started. So first, let's head over to JS Fiddle and see if we can prove that object create works in JavaScript. So let's first go uh, const a for our variable and we'll just put in two properties here. First one is name and that'll equal me, Yagi. And then my species, which is go. Awesome. Okay, so to create a new object, you can't simply just change the variable name because that will modify it. So to create a new object, we can use object create here in JavaScript. So we can go const and we'll call this one creatively b equals object.create. And then we can insert the a object variable above. So now if we console log a and b, log, and we'll go a, a, space, comma, A, and we'll just copy that. And we'll change these to B, and we'll hit save and run. And you can see over here, we've got two separate variables. So if I say, if I add something to B and I go um, food available, And we will make that equal to 100 units. And now if we save, we can see now B has been modified, but A hasn't. So we know that B is its own object that was created from a shallow clone of A. And we can even change things. So we can go B and we we'll change the name to uh, Mr. Yagi. And we can hit run. And we can see B has changed, but A hasn't. All right, cool. So what happens if I copy all this? So control C the copy and jump into our Google Apps Scripts. And we'll call this, uh, we'll keep it as my function because we are feeling creative today. And we'll hit control V to paste. And let's just select that to line it all up nicely. Format document, beautiful. All right, so what happens if we console log this? So first we'll save control S and then I'll hit run. And you can see down the bottom here that we've got in A, which was our basic name, Yagi, species, goat, that's okay. But now we've got some changes here. So food available was 100 and name is Mr. Yagi. So object create didn't do exactly what it was meant to be doing, right? So for example, if I just deleted or if I just uh, comment this out and we ran our script again, you can see that B isn't making a clone of A at all using object create. Now I have a detailed discussion of this in my written tutorial, which you can find in the description in the notes below. But just for this short tutorial, let's create a solution. So there's two approaches that I wanna show you here. The first one is my favorite, and we can make a copy or a shallow clone of A by using the spread syntax. So if I go in here and change this out to create a object in here, and the spread syntax is basically those three horizontal ellipses followed by whatever you want to put in your object. So here we're going to put A in here and let's run this, see what happens. So now we have a clone of A inside B and that works independently on itself. So if I unhide these, let's just do our food available, for example, and we run it. So A has uh, stayed the same, hasn't been changed and B now has food available in it. And of course, if we unhide that one, in B we've changed the name, but uh, in A the name hasn't been changed. So we know it's been cloning successfully. Cool, so we can also do the same thing here very quickly by adding, let's make this one const B, and we'll make uh, this one C here, and we'll just add in some extra things, just so you know it's all going to work okay. So uh, in B we'll make it hobby, and we'll call this coding and then we'll put in another one we'll call it friendly and we'll say true and then we'll wrap it up with a bit of a arrow function just so you know arrow functions work action and we'll call this we'll do a little arrow function here equals and we'll just return 
1 plus 1. Cool. So now we can combine A and B together also using this spread notation. So here I can put a comma in, I can use another spread syntax and put in B. And let's just get rid of this one for now. Make a duplicate. So I just hold C down so you can just see everything. And we'll hit run. And now we've got A there as its own independent object, B again, and then C, you can see that we've combined all the objects together. And we can even call this action as well. Let's say uh, we'll do this, c.action. Just so, so you know, the function will also run successfully. Oh, action. So you know the action runs successfully and you can see it's added one plus one equals two. Good. -o. So just imagine you want to add an object to an existing object or a set of objects to an existing object. So imagine we want to add all of the objects in B into A. So the spread operator might not be the best option here. Instead, we could use the object assign. So instead of creating a new variable, we'll go object dot assign and before we continue let's get rid of C we don't need that anymore okay and in object assign it takes two or more arguments the first one is the target so where we want to put our object into and that's going to be a and the source so the object we want to put into our existing object so that's going to be B and we'll put a little colon semicolon there and hit run And as you can see now, A has also includes the object of B and as its own copy. So just to confirm that, we can put our console log A just above this one here. We'll put a space in here to make it look neat. And you can see the change in the logging. Okay, so there you go. Now, of course, uh, with the object assigned, you can also add other objects to it. So we can go const C equals food available it's 100 units taste we'll say yum and now in our object assign we can also add c and that'll be assigned to a as well so if we hit save here now and run now a uh, b and c will be added to a as you can see okay so that's it for some alternatives to using object create in Google Apps Script. If you want to find out why object create doesn't work in Google Apps Scripts and go into some more details, please check the link to the written tutorial in the description below. If you like the tutorial, hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.